Last July, I was in the midst of spending a very hot summer on Cape Cod and strongly considering leaving the United States to start a new life in the Andes Mountains studying the spectacled bear. In the time since, I've obtained an inbox Spirit of 76 calculator. And with it, like a bald eagle, my American spirit has taken flight anew. And here I remain a year later. Of course, July 4th being the date of the adoption of the Constitution, in 1976 there were a lot of festivities around the 200th or bicentennial, I think it's called, anniversary of this special day. And so many people, many companies, released commemorative products. Texas Instruments, our favorite calculator manufacturers, were not to be excluded. And so they released this interesting variation of their popular TI-1200 calculator. Europe, of course, did not receive this variation, but they did get several other interesting variations, including one targeted towards women, but uh, this one's targeted towards me because I'm an American. If we take a nice close zoom in to look at this beautiful box, it only has mild yellowing from age. Overall, it's in pretty good shape. It gives us some instructions about the easy to operate calculator on the back. None of it's particularly interesting, and you probably know how to operate a basic calculator like this. It is, of course, a commemorative edition, Spirit of 76. Really unique name for a calculator. It's got blue stars, a red logo, a white box, at least at the time of release, and the beautiful Texas Instruments logo. Let's go ahead and crack into this bad boy and take a little look at this commemorative edition Texas Instruments calculator. So glad this box is in such nice shape. Look at that. We got our calculator inside. I'll just slide this bad boy out, and there she is. Good as on the day she was purchased, I'm sure. Still a nice crisp white color on this Spirit of 76 commemorative calculator. You can see that really nice banner that runs across the top, the Spirit of 76. What a great flavor to have on your calculator, you know? If you just got to be using a calculator, why use something boring? Why use something dull from like your local grocery store? They sell calculators, you know, and they're hideous. You could be using something like this that says, I'm a patriot. Maybe I can't do basic math, but I'm a patriot. Look at the red trim here around the bezel. Absolutely gorgeous. Definitely one of the finest looking calculators I own. That's really nice in the light. There are more directions and cautions on the back. And of course, happily, it was assembled in the USA. We're going to go ahead and crack the battery compartment open because we've got to insert a battery to use this bad boy. A coin or a key works well for this. By the way, the, it's, it's a joke, right? The part that like I can't do math and that's why I need a calculator. Um, you know, basic math is tedious. Just doing arithmetic, just get a calculator. Don't waste your time on that. I've been doing lots of linear algebra lately. You think I'm doing all that without a calculator? Fat chance. And of course, this wouldn't help me with that linear algebra, but hey, you know, popping this battery in. I'll tell you, you know, one of my problems with this calculator, and I don't know if it's just this particular unit or what, but once I put this battery in, I've not been able to get the cover to go back on. Maybe one day, but suffice to say, I'm probably not going to have to worry about corroded batteries with this thing, because I always take the battery out so that I can put the cover back on. All right, and it's also dusty. Like, I get this stuff on my fingers because of the, the foam here on the back. Ugh. Anyway, it works, and that's all that matters. So the on-off switch is here on the side. It's a pretty weird-looking switch. I mean, it's a really peculiar choice because it has like these notches on it. I mean, I guess that's to help you just grip it easily, but it really looks like something that should spin. It reminds me of like volume sliders on, you know, some old handheld video game consoles. But uh, I guess it's off now, so if we flip it down, hopefully it'll turn on. Oh, there we go. It's not on, but there's probably a button we gotta press. Um. Maybe we have to go the other way. There we go. Oh, oh no. A 
I think I might move to the Andes after all. But before I do that, I would like to inform you of one other thing I found as we conclude our conversation today. And that is, they actually had an inflatable Spirit of 76 calculator. And I know you're thinking, maybe this is a pool toy. Maybe this is something you can float along in, in the pool, while eating snacks and, uh, I don't know, drinking a, mar- a martini. Is that a an alcoholic drink that people drink in the pool? I'm not sure. But it's not that. It was actually part of a store display, right? From back in the day when they were selling this calculator in 76. They made an inflatable one. Somebody selling it on eBay. And I really shouldn't tell you this because I kind of want it. Uh, But I don't really feel like pulling the trigger on an $80 balloon, even if it looks like this. Happy 4th of July. Okay, I'm back, right? Because I had to do my due diligence. I thought, surely my battery's not dead, right? It must be the calculator. Because, like, I know I'm a nerd and stuff, but... I don't use my old calculators that much, so that that battery had to not be dead. But then I remembered something. It is dead. And so I got a new one. And I think that with this Energizer battery, we're going to get to see the spirit of 76 come to life once more to celebrate this 4th of July the only way I know how, which is... Um... Ha <laughs> ha! Look at it! Look at it! You can't see it. You can't see it on the camera, just barely. I can see it. Can you see it? I see the spirit of America. That's what I see. (laughs) 